Oh no. Hey, my name is Lance. This is one of my favorite projects because of how open-ended it is and how exciting that moment of truth is when you test it out. The goal is to keep a hard-boiled egg safe during a crash. And just for some added challenge, there are a couple of design constraints. Your egg must be able to see outside of the car. Or in other words, you can't build something that completely encloses it. And the egg must be able to easily exit and enter the car. You can't just wrap it in there with a piece of tape. Okay, let's get started. First, hot glue six craft sticks into a rectangle like this. Then cut a straw to size and tape it onto the short edge of the frame in two places. Next, cut or break a dowel so that it's about two inches longer than the width of the frame. Put the dowel through the straw and put the wheels on the ends. Wrap a small piece of tape around the ends of the dowel so the wheels don't fall off. And optionally, you can cut off the extra dowel with a pair of wire cutters so that it looks a little bit better. And repeat on the other side. Okay, so that's the basic idea for starting the car. Obviously, you can customize it so yours is bigger or smaller or whatever. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the three main ways that you can keep your egg safe. Just keep in mind that these are only ideas. This isn't necessarily how you have to build the car exactly. And in fact, as you saw in the beginning, the egg flew out during one of the tests, so there's definitely some room for improvement here. Also, I am sticking with the STEM inventions materials for this project, things like craft sticks and straws. If you're doing this project with kids and they wanna use cotton balls or paper towels or things that are obviously very soft and squishy for protecting the egg, you can, but I strongly recommend limiting the number of materials that you use. For example, sticking to just one plastic cup and one paper towel. Otherwise, instead of coming up with some clever solutions, everyone's just going to build a little nest of paper towels and rubber bands around their egg. Not very fun or challenging. One quick note, as you're testing your car, I strongly recommend using a plastic egg that's full of some coins or washers or something instead of the real egg. The first idea is to build something that will keep your egg safely contained within the car. For example, building some kind of seat out of a cup and some kind of seat belt that's made out of a rubber band. Whatever you build, the goal is just to keep the egg attached to the car because if the egg leaves the car during impact, it's almost certainly going to break. The second big idea is to create things that absorb energy from the impact. Right now, because the car frame is so rigid and because the egg is so snugly seated, when the car crashes, a lot of that energy is going to be transferred through the frame and into the egg, which could break the shell of a real egg. One pretty basic idea is to make a bumper out of a straw. Now, when the car crashes into something, the energy from the impact is spent squishing the straw instead of being transferred into the rest of the car and jostling the frame. You can also apply this idea to the seat. Now, if the egg gets jostled during an impact, it's going to press against these straw pieces and squish them instead of pressing against the hard edge of this plastic. And finally, the last idea is to build some kind of rollover protection, because right now, if the car were to flip upside down during impact, the egg is almost certainly going to get cracked. This can be as simple as building a beam that extends far above the car. Something like this will prevent the egg from hitting its head on the ground but it's way sturdier, and I think it looks better to build a whole frame for the car. Okay, we are ready to test. If you're doing this project with kids, I recommend having them test their car so that it can keep the plastic egg safe inside three times in a row before using the real egg. And I recommend using hard-boiled eggs because that way they don't make a mess if they break, and you can eat them afterwards so it's not wasteful. To set up the testing station, all you need is a long board or a folding table that's set up on one end, and something that's rigid and that won't move that's about eight to 10 inches away from the bottom of the ramp. This could be a wall or a cinder block, or in this case, a piece of furniture. And if you don't wanna deal with a setup like this, you could just push the car into a wall or something, but this is a more consistent test. Okay, three, two, one. Whoa. The car fell over, but the egg looked like it was safe. Okay, I'm gonna put the real egg inside the car. Three, two, one. Nice. So there's always a chance that the real egg will break, even when the plastic one seems pretty safe. And that's just because the physics of a real egg are not quite exactly the same as the plastic one. It might be a little heavier or smoother or bigger or smaller or whatever. So if it does break, what you can do is take it out and identify where the cracks are on the shell and mark it with a non-toxic marker. 
That way you can reuse the same egg and note if there are any new breaks during subsequent tests. Okay, well, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.